but yeah, Roy and Snake matchup. Here we go with the with the leopard print. Yeah, yeah print. I do like that. Bo, Bo uses that skin. That's the good. That's the one. That's the that's the good one. That's the good look one. one go. All right, we got. Oh, has is, has their C4 been landed already? Not yet. But already we have Chris taking 53% right. off of Bobo. Faces are wrong. Uh, yeah. Um. So Roy's rising nair is actually really interesting because the first hit, not only will it hit above the grenade, but it picks up Snake and lifts both of them kind of up above the uh, where the grenade is. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really nice counterplay with a Snake holding grenade and shield to do that rising nair because it doesn't seem to be hitting the grenade. Just so everyone knows, there's C4 on the red part of the Pokeball. It is now gone. Yeah, you're gonna see a, yeah. C4s aren't gonna be out for super long. I feel like uh, I think Bobo likes to just mm -hmm. use, keep letting them explode, keep the pressure up with them. I've noticed he likes to, to use the C4 and his and Snake's grenade on the Pokeball. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, words can't describe how important holding center stage is mm -hmm. when you have an explosive that could do it for you while you just it's, chill. It's, it's yeah. just easy, easy peasy. Yeah. You gotta worry about the ledges at, this point, at that point. Oh. And he's not letting Chris approach. Yeah, now this is where it gets really frustrating against Snake, um, is when the Snake has a lead. Because not only is he so heavy, he just has so many ways to just force you to want to come in, and then you get hit for it. And look at that. Gimping with the reversal from that jump yep. bear. For a second, I thought that was um, Chris for a second, so I got really confused. But we're good now. It just looks... So at this point, it looks like Boba, 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 I keep saying Boba. <laughs> Bobo is just simply making sure that Chris is not able to approach him by using those uh, grenades and C4s. But it looks like Chris is able to keep him... It, it seems like Chris is more comfortable on the platform. That's where he's really getting most of his hits against um, Bobo. Oh, oh right, that was, that was a cold C4. read. That yep. was ice in his veins right there, if I read. Knew 100% he was rolling behind. I um, think he had a plan for that. If he rolled behind, he would get hit by a C4. If he rolled ahead, he would do something else. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's it's a really strong option because mm -hmm. you don't want to really be in front of Snake. He's, you saw, like, I mean, it, Chris did a lot of the, like, kind of lack of Snake matchup knowledge, which is just mashing on the grenade shield. You got to be really delicate, you know, with how you uh, attack it. And we saw earlier kind of spacing nares a bit around grenades, but... At the once he lost the stock, it seemed to like totally just uh, lose that sense of um, that sense of like delicacy in his aggression. He he just instantly went to kind of pressing yeah. buttons on the shield, and that's how you get three stocked. <laughs> you know, if they were both at 100% when they lost the first stock, and then it was a three stock. This time they decided to go on battlefield. Yeah. Oh. I wonder oh, if that, was that would have been very cool attempt. <laughs> I wonder if Chris will think that like I wonder if it would be an advantage for Chris specifically, maybe not for Roy, but for just Chris's playstyle is more comfortable with the third platform. Oh. But it seems not. Yeah, he just there's never a moment where he's not pressing a button on Bobo's shield. I haven't seen him get a grab once or anything, and just like. He kind of is really stubborn with uh, how he's refusing to not hold forward, and this might be a very quick zero to death. It is. Wow. This is only 4% Chris on his last stock. This is looking brutal. Mm -hmm. Chris seems to just be trying. It's just He's being very... He's approaching way, uh, very like aggressively, even though um, Bobo is clearly in the lead in advan an, an advantage, and high advantage, really. Finally seen a grab from uh, mm -hmm. Chris. Oh, and another one. He listened to me. He's listening right now. <laughs> and right there, we see, we've see we seen Bobo do that before. Roy, usually when recovering, a hitbox comes out on the ledge, and that hitbox can then trigger the grenade and get Roy hit. Mm -hmm. So we see Bobo like holding the grenade backwards towards the edge of the stage for Roy to hit. Really good stuff. Clearly knows the Roy matchup, it seems. Ooh, and I think right there you were too scared to Jair because of the grenade. Oh, that was a really good attempt by Bobo to, to take out Chris's last dog. That was just a little bit off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> little job. <laughs> he was definitely trying to read the roll behind. They were, but... <laughs> they were just like filling each other out, seeing like spacing and such. But I think right here might be it for, yeah, for Chris. 
That was brutal. That is like... Just, I think Roy's upbeat was just... His recovery was really going against Chris in this whole round. I feel oh, like most yeah. of his stocks were taken by him being too far. And that's something that you have to kind of like be weary of when you're playing as Roy. Uh, he definitely fade back upbeats a lot to try mm -hmm. and not get hit. And then he just wasn't close enough and died. But it's, it's also... You can't totally blame him because if he did just fade into the stage he would have just died to snake anyway yeah, so. so it's just he has, he has to stay on that stage i mean yeah bobo played amazing um really just kept taking advantage of the over aggression coming out from chris mm -hmm. you got to approach snake with with very very much caution you know roy has good yeah. tools to dismantle him but you can you cannot just hold forward you have to be very smart with when you press like when you decide to position yourself and then use your positioning to find openings to approach 